On October 13th, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, or UNIFIL, announced that several UN peacekeepers had been targeted in attacks by the Zionist occupation forces in Ramaya. According to a tweet made by UNIFIL, the occupation forces crossed the Blue Line, a demarcation line set that divides Lebanon from Israel and the Golan Heights region. At around 4.30 a.m. Beirut time, two Merkava tanks destroyed the position's main gate and requested the base turn out its lights. Zionist forces left about 45 minutes later after a liaison informed them that their presence was putting peacekeepers in danger. It was shortly after, at 6.40 a.m., that UNIFIL peacekeepers heard the firing of several rounds 100 meters, or 328 feet, to the north, emitting smoke. UN peacekeepers donned protective masks, but 15 of them were reported to have needed medical treatment after the smoke entered the camp. The peacekeepers were complaining of skin irritations and gastrointestinal reactions. Now, it is important to note that according to the UN Security Council Resolution 1701, passed in 2006, breaching and entering a UN position as well as any deliberate attack on peacekeepers is a flagrant violation of international humanitarian law as well as Resolution 1701, which isn't real, has very obviously done. Amongst their many war crimes and violations of international law and that they have committed, including a white phosphorus attack on Lebanon just last October, according to Amnesty International, they have very clearly invaded not only Lebanon, but now have invaded and launched attacks against UN forces in the region, proving that nobody is safe from the relentless and soulless attacks carried out by the Zionist Weimar. It should also be noted that the symptoms that these peacekeepers were complaining of are not the reactions one would typically have from smoke coming off of regular mortar fire. It is very obvious that chemical weapons have been used against them. We already know that Israel is not above using white phosphorus, and these symptoms are consistent with some type of chemical weapon. Numerous weapons of this kind include phosgene oxime, white phosphorus, mustard gas, and even sarin. These can produce these types of reactions, though some are more deadly than others. Make no mistake, these UN peacekeepers were gassed with chemical weapons. This follows repeated attacks against UN forces in the region, including threats and attacks made on Irish peacekeepers in the past few weeks, as well as attacks against Lebanon including the September pager attacks that were carried out by Mossad, which isn't real, claims was targeting Hezbollah members. It's been blatantly obvious as the world becomes increasingly more aware of the Zionist genocide against Gaza and Palestine that this is, and has never been about, defending themselves, and more with carrying out Arabophobic and Islamophobic attacks against neighboring nations. As the walls continue to cave in on the Zionist regime and its military forces, who have also been struggling to maintain their numbers, they are resorting to more and more draconian tactics to maintain their power in the region. It has also become more apparent that this military campaign is less to do about protecting the Jewish homeland and more with stealing land from the natives, while also persecuting, arresting, torturing, and killing other Jewish communities in Palestine and Lebanon, with particular emphasis on the Ashkenazi communities. The Zionist occupation forces, no longer satisfied with exterminating the Palestinian people, have made it clear that this campaign is a final solution against Palestinians as they begin to ramp up their military op operations in preparation for a Zionist Lebensraum against Lebanon and potentially other surrounding states, including Jordan and Syria. While we have not yet seen this type of occupation occur yet, we can rest assured that the Zionist state will soon show signs of carrying this out in due time, depending on how long their invasion and occupation of Lebanon takes. 
I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Thank you for watching. If you like news and politics from a leftist perspective, true crime, or informational videos on leftist philosophy and pagan belief practices, and would like to support the channel, please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. Even a few bucks really helps me out. All links are provided in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share on various social media. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I put out content regularly, so you will always get quite a bang for your buck. Thank you.